Last year, over 1,000 people died of opioid-related overdoses in Massachusetts alone. Middlesex County had the highest amount of unintentional opioid overdose deaths. Two women in Marlboro have decided that it needs to stop in our community. It's sad, very sad. Like many others, Maureen Begg and Carol Pickford have been touched by family members and friends who struggled with addiction. I watched my niece struggle for 22 years with addiction. Some of my children's friends have passed away from, you know, opiate addiction and all. In April, the two women started holding meetings at Maureen's house as a way to learn about efforts to prevent and treat drug addiction in the community, as well as the barriers to treatment. I think first and foremost, the, everyone needs to realize that this is a disease. This is not a choice. There is nothing to be ashamed of. The point of these meetings are just to get people together that have lost a loved one or who are still, you know, um, trying to help someone, you know, battle this. We need to educate ourselves so that we're able to help these people. I just feel like, um, you know, we're going to make a change. Last Tuesday, close to 40 people came to the meeting held at the Eagles in Marlboro. Recovering addicts Rich Barnes and Mike Duggan told their stories that night with one common goal, to save lives. You know, the stigma that is associated with this, with addiction is the, it's the guy or woman under the bridge homeless person, which could not be further from the truth. It's the athletes. It's the, it's the, it's the son that, that hung out with your boy playing hide and go seek. It's the daughter that used to play with your doll, your daughter, with your dolls with your daughter. It's anybody in between. And I tell people, addiction can hit, hit anybody from the CEO of a multi-billion dollar company all the way down to the person who eats out of that dumpster of that multi-billion dollar company, everybody in between. You know, people weren't ashamed that people spoke up and inspired advocacy. Guess what? You're going to have more policies, more resources available <laughs> to provide that continuum of care that that, as we all know, is so desperately needed. Please, whatever you do, just spread awareness. The meetings are held the first Tuesday of every month from 7 to 9 at the Eagles on Florence Street in Marlboro. The next meeting will be held August 4th. For more information, contact Maureen Begg at Begg underscore Maureen at Yahoo.com. If I can save one kid, that'll be huge, you know.